Passing up on a plea deal, the teen charged in the shooting death of Timothy Reynolds will take his chances with a trial now. This first degree murder case stems from a confrontation back in July between squeegee workers and a driver near the Inner Harbor. This all comes as incidents between those on the road and those washing windshields for money continue to pour into the police department. And tonight, Christina Mendez has a WJZ exclusive with one woman's recent encounter with a squeegee worker. All right, but first. 15 years old going in, 75 years old getting out. That's what this plea deal called for. But the criminal defense attorneys in this case say that plea deal was put on the chopping block, and now the teen's fate will be left up to the court system. We intend to fight these charges all the way through. No plea deal. That's the response attorney Jay Wendell Gordon gave state prosecutors. The offer called for serving 60 years in prison in exchange for pleading guilty to first degree murder. The case surrounds a deadly confrontation in July between a driver and a teen windshield washer near the Inner Harbor. Baltimore police say Timothy Reynolds parked his car, grabbed a baseball bat, and walked toward the group when the suspect shot and killed him. The next step is to uh, try to convince um, a judge to have this matter transferred to juvenile. It doesn't make light of, of, of the loss of life of Mr. Reynolds. In the months following Reynolds' death, incidents involving those who squeegee windshields for money continue to rack up in police records. About a week ago in Bolton Hill, a federal judge made a report after an encounter with two, quote, very aggressive window washers. One is accused of spitting on the SUV, while the other wrote racist in soap suds. Only a few days later at President in East Fayette Streets. About seven ganged around my car and were banging on my window. I said, Mom, just get some money out of the purse or just, just please, because we were stuck. We couldn't move. A woman driving her elderly mother back home from the hospital says she was the victim of an assault and attempted robbery. He reached his hand through my window and was reaching for my purse, and I was trying to fight his arm off and not have him hit my mother. And he sprayed whatever that solution was in my face, on my hair, on my clothes. While the city continues to grapple with the solution, some residents are left feeling frustrated. I'm ready to leave Baltimore. And you're a lifelong resident. I've been here my entire life. I love Baltimore. And it's, this breaks my heart. I did reach out to the Reynolds family attorney just to see if they would comment on the rejection of this plea deal. So far tonight, we have not heard back. As for the suspect, who again is 15 years old, he will be in court on November 17th to determine whether he will be tried as an adult in this case. For now, I'm live in Baltimore City. Christina Mendez for WJZ.